Hey, <laughs> what's up? And welcome to this new video. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do today. Uh, just like um, enjoy this amazing sound quality and the tremendously bad video quality because um, I tried to film something with my camera. Wait, like. That's better. I tried to film something with my camera, um, but it died. <laughs> so, um, rest in peace, I guess. No, it wouldn't stop overheating and I got um, kind of angry and then I just stopped. So, um, let's jab into an episode of amazing sound quality, or not like amazing, but like good sound quality and um, pretty bad video quality. <laughs> good. <laughs> Now that we got that over with, um, yeah, I just wanted to, like, do a kind of, like, motivational video. Um, because in these times, I guess, like, there's pretty much, like, sadness. <laughs> there's pretty much sadness and, like, um, because of, like, isolation and stuff, we, we humans aren't built for that, so, um, we get kind of sad. And that's okay, but, you know, I just want to maybe help some of you to get out of the sad zone. Not because it's not okay, but just because, like, I know what it's like to feel sad and, and I don't like it, so maybe you don't like it, so maybe we can just all stop being sad <laughs> together. <laughs> that sound good? That sounds okay. <laughs> just so you know, um, this whole video is unscripted. <laughs> so, um... If I kind of say stuff that that sounds weird, I actually like. I don't know. I just don't care that much. <laughs> I'm kidding. I I care a lot about the video quality, but this was so spontaneous. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um. If you've been feeling kind of like down in the dumps, <laughs> and um like the last couple of months, like it's over half a year now I guess yeah wow <laughs> that's a long time and you know what I am very proud of you that you like are here with us through this tough time because like it's hard it's really hard of course you get unmotivated it's all very different and also scary it's like really scary like um, there's so much like just fear in the world right now so I get it when you're feeling but kind of scared and that's that's pretty understandable I think <laughs> so um, yeah you know just don't go too hard on yourself like I know you sometimes feels like you always have to be strong and brave and all these beautiful big words but you mean, you know, I mean, like, what really is strong? <laughs> I think many people think that not showing weakness is strong, and I think that's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry for the harsh words, but, you know, I think it's super strong when you can, like, show emotions and, like, really stand up for your emotions, like, you just go out and present them. You just... You are yourself. And that's so strong. You know? <laughs> like... So many people try to, like, bend themselves over backwards to be someone else. So if you have the strength to be yourself in this society, you are so strong. <laughs> like, even, like so many people that are heroes of some do the same thing they try to change themselves just so that other people will accept them because we humans are kind of scared of difference and change and stuff so if something's different we're always like oh I don't think that's good <laughs> so to be brave and be yourself is the strongest thing you can be no matter how you are so I know I am like <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat 
I get scared of everything. And since I have accepted that I'm kind of like a person with a lot of anxieties, I don't get as like offended anymore. <laughs> if anyone says like, wow, why are you being so nervous? I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm a nervous person. <laughs> So, yeah. Also, one thing about acceptance and everything. I know it's hard, but if you want to learn your if you want to like learn to accept yourself like as a whole, as a whole being, of course, there's the character, but also like <laughs> the outer shell. <laughs> and with that I mean like your appearance. You are the way you are. Like, I'm talking bone structure-wise. Of course you can break bones and, like, change your appearance that way, but... I don't know. That's a high price to pay for changing yourself. If you are healthy, that's so much. Like, actually, have you ever thought about, like, the chances of you being alive? Probably you did, but you already have but you know like the chance of you being alive is like so small and also the chance the chance of you being alive and kind of healthy <laughs> because we all have these little things that make us like unhealthy or like not completely perfect <laughs> like as a human being that is on this earth right here right now and can call themselves kind of healthy <laughs> that's good that's like that the probability of that is just wow <laughs> and i'm not trying to like talk you out of like um being sad about uh, like some illnesses you have or anything like that you can still be like oh that's shitty that i have that i'm like like i know that feeling <laughs> i have the same thing with asthma i have got asthma and i am like ugh, i'm so pissed off that i have asthma <laughs> and that's okay because i mean like it pisses me off so i can be pissed off about that it's it's standing in my way sometimes because i'm a very active person and i hate it when i can't give 100 percent to something so it's okay to also feel like kind of like down because of those things but there's like for so many things there's a way to work around it or with it like with asthma you have to work with it you can still do sports probably except your asthma is like really bad but you can still do sports but just in a different way than others you can't compare yourself to others. I mean, like, that we are so different, but still so much the same. Like, that we can name muscles in our body a certain way, because we all have these muscles. Like, the majority of us has these muscles. Pretty cool, but still, we are, like, so different with these muscles. So, of course, you can say, yeah, but... I'm still human. <laughs> yeah, you are, probably. Probably. <laughs> but, you know, you're still so different and so wonderful and interesting. It's like, it's so fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, beauty comes in a lot of different ways. And you have to like maybe find your own way to look at beauty you don't have to you may want to <laughs> so that you can have like like everyone has their style and maybe they don't even know that they have style I, I didn't even know that i had a style but then i looked at my clothing a different way and i was like oh whoa <laughs> that's a lot of pullovers <laughs> so yeah like, beauty is very, like, subjective, <laughs> and that's good, <laughs> but, you know, 
society and some people try to teach us that beauty is one way to look at things. It isn't. Like, nah, man. <laughs> like, for me, I think, like, every eye color is so wonderful and different and interesting. So I just always am like, I can't tell you that I only like people with that kind of eye color or that kind of hair color. I just think that everyone has their own kind of beauty in them and maybe some people can't see their beauty because they have a different like subjective view of beauty. So I guess we will all find a person that can see our beauty. If that makes sense. <laughs> And yeah, don't be afraid of yourself. I know it's kind of scary sometimes to like go to confront yourself. It's like sometimes it's even like a lot weirder and uh, a lot more sc like a lot scarier than just confronting other people <laughs> because you have to live with yourself the whole day and like every day. So. I guess it's kind of easier to just confront yourself, like, once or twice. <laughs> so, yeah. For some of us, like, we have to confront ourselves every day and we have to, like, fight with some parts of ourselves every day. And that's hard. I know that that's hard. It feels like fighting a war that can never be won because you fight your war against yourself. But, as I said... With some parts of ourselves, we have to live with them. We can't live around them, so we have to confront them. Yeah, wow, that, that I, I just completely missed the point I wanted to talk about, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> this wasn't scripted, this wasn't planned. I just wanted to talk to you. And I'm sorry if I got a little bit sidetracked, because my mind is like so much of a big weird cloud soup that I sometimes don't even know where I'm going with things <laughs> I'm just like too philosophical for my own good I'm kidding I hope you like this in some kind of way maybe it make you feel motivated for something or like a little bit more peace or even motivated to confront some things about yourself and or with others that's also good <laughs> and just know that learning to feel and learning to confront your own emotions is one of the strongest things you can do because not many people can do that <laughs> most of us are scared of ourselves <laughs> so if you try to do that that's brave that's good and i like that so don't stay the way you are try to always I don't know develop I don't want to say tell people to stay the way they are because like that doesn't really make that much sense sense I'm telling them like it will get better but if they stay they would stay the same way it wouldn't so stay or like get to a way <laughs> that um, makes you happy because you are the most important person in your life as I said you have to live with yourself every day and then like I would like try to get it with in peace with myself because like that's kind of annoying if you have to live with a person every day that you don't like <laughs> so maybe try that I don't want to tell you anything you don't want to do but you know yeah I'm sorry I wanted to end that video like two minutes ago but whatever <laughs> I'm gonna end it now, so thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm gonna go now. I have to learn for physiotherapy school. Bye. <laughs>